All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the Brother Times of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this one's going to be quick. It's going to be entitled, Where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? I may, you know, probably rough the title up a little bit, shorten it up when I uh, load up. But this, this was a question that was asked, that was uh, asked of me. That was at, that this, this person asked me this question yesterday. And I said, through the spirit of the Lord, I'm going to make a lesson about it. And uh, what I told this guy, this nigga, you know, it went over his head. And it was, my answer was something that he never thought he would hear. You should have saw the expression on this guy's face, man. Now, he asked me that and I said, I chuckled. I said, huh? I said, the next three to five years? I said, I see the next three to five years of America being destroyed. And he looked at me and he said, what? You know, with this look on his face. And I said, yo, you asked the right question. You know, I said, what do you see yourself in the next three to five years? You know, he started talking about, he wanted to go back to my question. He said, you know, my answer, excuse me. And, and, and basically wanted me to explain why do I see America destroyed? And, uh, because the Bible, all right, this, this, this place that you call the America is at an all time high of wickedness, man. You know, the, the men of the Lord are very vexed, just like Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah. And the scriptures talk about how they were going to be crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. You got Jake. Well, let me, let me go back to the story. This guy, Jake, this guy, he basically was telling me that you know, he gonna be all right because he got his truck stand, he got his weed. Now this is an older guy, probably, probably, probably mid forties, you know, late forties. And um, he had gray beard, gray beard, older cat. And after I told him that, he perceived to tell me that he gonna be all right because he got his weed, got his truck stand. He must have just got himself together. You know, he he also went on to tell me, and he talked about 9/11. He said when 9/11 hit, he was in a submarine when that happened. He he started spitting his credentials on how he was in the military or the navy, and I don't know all that stuff. I know he was just saying some, I you know, but I perceived that the guy was actually lying. But he could have been telling the truth. But but the moral of the point is that Jake is fucking done. Excuse my French. They're, they're finished, man. And when the Lord told Jeremiah not to, he said, lift up a cry, nor prayer for these people. You should understand why. Because two thirds of our people today, they're heathens, man. They're not Israelites. Now, technically, yes, they are Israelites, but they're in a heathen state of mind and the way that the most high is looking down upon them they are heathens and he's going to destroy you like heathens man so let me bring out this scripture i want to get this quick scripture real quick hosea 4 and 6 all right it says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge i also would i will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thy children. So the Most High is going to kill you and your household, man. Okay? And only the elect and one third is going to be delivered from this destruction. And when I said that to this man, when I told him that in the next three to five years, I believe this place, America, is going to be destroyed, man, he should have saw the look on his face, man. Because that was the last thing he wanted to hear. When he's somebody that just got on his feet, I guess, and, and just got his shit together, all right? Now, the whole time I was trying to ignore this guy because I didn't want to get into any conversation with him, you know, but he, you know, Jake loved attention. He started doing the little fist thing, you know, the shadow boxing, looking for me to say something, put my head down, turn my head, no, want no interaction, you know, I didn't want to be talked uh, to, you know? 
But he sat right next to me and he said, hey, brother, you know, what do you see yourself in the next three to five years? And I said, that's the spirit of the Lord. I, you know, I was in a moment of meditating. I was in a moment of, you know, spirit of being bitter, how much I hate this place, how much the Lord should destroy this place. And then he asked that question. I said, that's the spirit of the Lord. And I didn't held back. And I told him, man. All right. Now, I didn't go into details, you know, but I told him that I said, look at the things that Trump is doing. I said, are you following politics? Do you know that we're going to we're going to be going into a third world war? Do you not know that this war is a war that's basically really is Armageddon dealing with thermonuclear missiles? That this place, America, is going to be a war zone? This is a different type of war that we're approaching. All right. And these elites. All right. They're taking their classic, their classical steps, tiptoeing, you know, and cautiously before they actually ignite this war off, man. Because that's the end of America. That's the end of Babylon the Great. You know? So, as the scripture says in Hosea, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you're going to be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And that knowledge is the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That knowledge is the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. Which the Father's name is Yahweh, the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. You don't know who you are. You don't care to know who you are. You don't know the Lord's name. You don't care to learn the Lord's name. You don't know what's prophecies. All right. All you care about is what's going on today in this world. But the words of Yahweh Shai, he said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. All right. This place is done. The people here are done. Jake here, done. You can't tell me these people are not destroyed spiritually and mentally, man. Every day I see destroyed Jake's, man. Mentally, spiritually, man. And don't have a care in the world. So the Lord said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. And when as I proceed to talk to this man about that, you would think that he would be curious and want to know more. But instead, he shifted the conversation and telling me how he going to have his blunt in his truck stand and he going to be doing his thing. You know, he made his little joke because I guess he was hinting on that he, know, that he knows the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks about. He was talking about how he said he's going to drive down to some state. And he going to tell him, tell him that any man, some, some shit, some shit. I can't even repeat it. But it just proves that Jake is fucking lost, man. You know? And then you want to come talk to me? <sighs> My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. So the Lord is going to reject you, man. He said that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Most High. So you forgot... And you don't acknowledge nor care and keeping the laws to the best of your ability, which the Most High gave us, man. You got a lot of our people are homosexuals, man. You got a lot of these women are a bunch of whores, man. You got a lot of these niggas ain't nothing but a bunch of murderers and gangbangers and, and dope dealers. All right. These people are destroyed, man. And you don't care because you got your rap, you got your entertainment, you got your sports, basketball, football, boxing. All right. You're getting your little crumbs that Esau's giving you. You got your benefits. Second edges, ninth chapter goes into that. You know, you're abusing the Lord's ways. All right. Anyway, it says. Um, I will also forget thy children. So the most high is not only going to destroy you, he's going to destroy your children, man. So with that being said, right, I want to jump here to Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, because. You know, Jeremiah had it rough, man. Okay, and we believe Jeremiah could be back today. And if he's not back here today, he's in the spirit room. All right, but if he's back here today, he's going to be doing the works of the Lord. And Jeremiah dealt with this spirit with his own people because the Lord sent them out there bedtime, all right, to prophesy, to warn the children of Israel for the transgressions that they did committed against the Most High and for them to repent. But they were rebellious and they wanted to kill Jeremiah, man. So Jeremiah did a lot of cursing out, man. A lot of cursing out you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians, man. 
you West Indians, you so-called Haitians, all right? He was cursing y'all asses out, man. Whoever was there in that in that in uh in that in that area, man, where he was at. All right, so this is Jeremiah chapter five. And uh let me see where I want to start. This is Jeremiah chapter 5 and 18. Nevertheless, in those days, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will not make a full end with you. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doeth the Lord Yahweh our power all these things unto us? Then shall thou answer them, right? Because when we out prophesizing, we in the streets, and we out there teaching this word of the Lord, people come up and they get upset because they be like, when did God say he was going to do this unto us? God loves everybody. When did God say he hate? All right. You see, you ask us these things and we tell you. So the Lord told Jeremiah to say this. It says, then shall thou answer them like as ye have forsaken me and serve strange gods in your land. So shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. And we're clearly served. Our people are clearly serving. Our people are clearly serving false gods in a land in which we didn't know. No, we didn't know of, man. In the times when we lived on the eastern part of the world, we are now on the western side of the world. Okay, we're in North America, man. It says, um, verse twenty: Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, "Hear now this, O foolish people." And without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. And that's our people. You don't have no understanding. You are without understanding. You have eyes, but you see not. You have ears, but you hear not. Meaning you can't, you can't see the truth. And even if you see the truth, there come the wicked one. They come to take away which was planted inside your, uh, your spirit, man. All right. The most high. Is physically, spiritually blinding you, man. He's blinding you because the Lord has a controversy with you. Okay? The Lord is going to destroy you niggas, man. And you whores, man. Straight up, man. It says, um, verse 22, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Yeah, you don't fear the most high? Are you serious? You know, it's this thing where people in the churches and christianity christianity is the devil christianity is satan that's satan worshiping if you worship jesus christ and you call upon that name when you pray you are praying into satan all right you can watch that uh i was watching the elders out there in connecticut and the brother the elder brother all right he mentioned about the john todd interview and i watched it and he said some a lot of key things man i remember seeing it a long time ago but watching it again kind of jogs and refreshed the memory and what he said and he was breaking down how the churches is a form of uh, Satanism. All right. It's this it's, it's the Christianity is Satan, man. You know, same thing as those like him. He was brought up and uh, believing that um, that uh, that Christ that the people that believed in God were wicked. All right. But uh, let me read this again. Losing my train of thought here. It says, fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Of course, yeah, you don't fear the most high. All right. Um, what was it I was gonna say? Um, yeah, because it's this thing where in the churches you guys don't, you know, you don't believe that. Well, let me say this. You treat you treat this word as if it's just a belief and something myth mythic, myth. All right. But instead you're you're not realizing that there's a real righteous that there's an entity. The Most High is an entity. He's a power. He's a power that exists, that actually exists. It's not just words to make you feel good. You know, this word is written here. All right. It was written by men, but inspired by the Most High. And the Most High is real. The Son, Yahweh Shai, is real. These are real entities, man. Not just a belief. Anybody can have a belief in the philosophy and believe in something. You know, but this is not just a belief. It's real. It's reality. And you guys going to see soon. All right. So fear you not me, say of the Lord, Yahweh. Will you not tremble at my presence? 
which hath placed the sand for the bound of the sea by the perpetual decree. Yeah, think about that, man. The Most High have divided the waters from the land. That's that's powerful, man. How come the waters never come? How come the waters never come in, uh, on land and take out the land? The waters are divided from the land. It says, Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail? Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it? But this people have a revoking and a rebellion heart. They are revoked and gone. And you hear what he said? You hear what the Lord said, man? He said, but this people have a revoking and a rebellious heart. They are revoked and gone, man. All right? They are gone. So Jake is gone, man. And as the elder apostle Tahar said, man, if a nigga can't get it, we're moving on, man. All right? We're moving on. I see it, man. You know, the more and more that you, you run to the truth, the more and more understanding you get. And the more and more you can see what the Lord is saying. Okay? I'm going to read it again. But this people have a revoking and a rebellious heart. That's Israel. That's you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Latinos, man. You Native and Seminole Indians, man. It says, but this people have a revoking and rebellious heart. They are revoked and gone. Ain't no coming back. There's no repentance for them, man. You know why? Because they refuse. They reject the word of the Lord. So the Lord said, you must know it after death by pain. Meaning these people just got to die. The scriptures talk about in the Apocrypha how they were, their lives were born in vain. All right? They're revoked and gone. Maybe I'll title the lesson that. They are revoked and gone. Verse 24. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord, our power, that giveth rain both the former and the latter in his season. He reserved. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Why the world, why, why, why does the seasons change? Because the Heavenly Father changes the seasons, man. Esau, Esau doesn't uh, change the seasons. He could think he's saving time. He can say that winter come, or he can say that, uh, 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 he can say that uh, it's a new year. He can confuse you with all this different time, but the seasons stay the same. One season come in, one season go out. All right? Because he said, because this, this devil, he says that um, it's a new year in the middle of a season. How can a new year come in in the middle of a season? That doesn't even make sense, but the world been fooled by it. You celebrate New Year's January 1st when it's still winter. But the most high changes the uh, seasons, man. All right? It says... Your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withholding good things from you. And this is why you, you jakes, you can't get it right, man. All right. You can't get it right because you reject the word of the Lord. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of snares. They set traps and they catch men. And that today is your rappers, man. That today are your so-called leaders, man. Your celebrities. I'm going to read that again. For among my people are found wicked men. Not only them, but also you have men of the circumcision. All right. They're supposed to be uh, 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 shepherds leading the flock to Yahweh Shai. They have falsified the doctrine, man. All right. They're teaching false doctrine. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. So that means that these particular men who plot upon you, Jake, to keep you sleep and to draw you away from following your true power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all right, they get greater in being wicked. They wax fat. As the scriptures say, 
it says, therefore, they become great. Great in what? Great in lies. And waxing rich, meaning they get rich off these lies, man. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deed of the wicked. Because who is the wicked? Esau. So you got our people that, that overpass the deed, the deeds of the so-called wicked. Excuse me, of the so-called white man, which is the wicked, man. All right. And that's bad, man. That's bad, man. And this is why you got to get put to death, man. It says they are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deed of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper and the right of the needy. Do they not judge? Shall I not visit for these things? Say of the Lord, Yahweh, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? That's why the Lord is going to visit, man, because he got to correct this nation. You got to get jacob out of captivity and he got to kill off the wicked man it says a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land the prophets prophesied falsely and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so and what will you do in the end thereof so just like it happened in the past it's happened here and right now jake is revoked and gone man all right and so I'm going to end the show with that. It says, and what will ye do in the end thereof? So what are you going to do when the Lord visits you, man? You know? So the question is, what do you see yourself in the next three to five years? <laughs> you know? So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.